Warning, the following video contains jokes that may not be suitable for some viewers. I am doing these for jokes, not trying to be mean. Love you all. The war against Gygus. Earthbound. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, <coughs> Alright, sync test. Sync test. Two. Sorry. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to a fantastic episode of whatever the hell I'm playing in this episode. We're going to be playing Earthbound. Now, for the Christmas special, I thought to myself, let's go back to the nostalgia days of, of when you would get your very first game for your very first Christmas. Yes, this game was the very first game I've ever gotten for my Christmas, Earthbound. And it, it's a really good game to start off with that, like getting your very first game and it's Earthbound. That's, that's an okay in my book. So you guys may notice that there is no face cam in the corner for two reasons. One, I don't really think this game needs face cam because it's, it's, I don't know, it's just, it's a game that you just need to listen to the commentary instead of looking at reactions. And two, is because I'm really sick. For those of you that can't hear, I'm really sick. But I wanted to start up this holiday or this Christmas special on my channel. I basically want to start it, it off with some classic games instead of, you know, the new age games that are coming out. So I thought, hey, what better game to start with Earthbound? Because it's kind of Christmassy once you think about it. I don't know. Whenever I think about Christmas, this is the first game that comes to my mind. Anyways, we have been dabbling on for too long. Let us start a new game. How do you... Oh, that's the A button. All right. Please select text speed. We're going to go with fast because, you know, select sound setting. I don't think it really matters. Which style windows do you prefer? Plain flavor, mint flavor, strawberry flavor, banana flavor, peanut flavor. I like mint. I like it. Please name him. Um, okay, so we're going to name this guy the same generic name as everything. Because to be quite honest, I don't want to use the name I used to use when I was a kid, which was banana. But I couldn't fit it in, so I called the character... Hold on, let me see if I can... Um, backspace, there we go. I used to call the character B N A N A Banana. I I don't know why that's what I used to call this character. I guess it's because of his shirt. His shirt was probably the reason why I called him a banana because it reminded me of bananas and pajamas. I, I don't know why. I, I just don't. But anyways, we're just gonna name. Yeah, the character's auto named, so Ness. Please name her too. Okay, we're not. Oh well. You know what? Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna start this off. Well, I'll be right back. What a fucking nick. All right, I'm back now. We are going to name these characters the right way. The characters I wanted to name them. There we go. He's gonna name my main character me. And then we're gonna name this character after a very special someone who I've been talking to on Twitter a lot. There's only one female, so... I'm sorry, but... Yeah, Denise... Oh... Sh I, I spelled your name wrong. It's Denise7 now. Alright, there we go. Denise... There you go. Oh my god, who does this guy look like? I'm just gonna name him. <laughs> Phil, I don't know if you watch my videos. I, I hope you do. But I'm gonna name him after you, buddy. I'm a. God damn it. I'm gonna name him after you, buddy. There we go. Phil. <laughs> we got another character. I know who I'm gonna name this after. Um, here we go. S I G A Psy. There you go. Oh my god, we can name our pet. Okay, I I don't know what to name this dog. I don't know what to name this dog. Alright, so I'm back. I have a name. Now, do not get angry at me, Beulah. Don't get angry at me. I, I'm not calling you a dog. I'm not. I just I just ran out of character, so I decided there we go. There we go, Beulah. And what the fuck? 
Favorite homemade food? Um, this pizza count, if I made it in my oven? I guess it does, does it? But it's not homemade. Okay, no, it's pizza if it's homemade. Oh, shit. Pizza! What's your favorite thing? <laughs> yep, yep, my- the coolest thing are boobs. That's- that's what I like. That's what I like. The gang's all here, guys. Ugh. The year is 1990X. Alright. So far, it's hitting me with nostalgia. So far. On it. A small town in Eagleland. Eagleland or Eagle Land? I don't know. I say Eagleland. He's, uh, yep, that's what my house looks like. That's exactly what my house looks like. Yep, there's me! Sleeping in my room. No anime figures or, or manga to be seen. Well, there's a bookshelf right there. I don't know if there's manga there. But yeah, no anime figures. No big giant anime figure titties. Oh shit, we can move. Oh fuck. Um, oh, there we go. Status, all right. Equip, got nothing. Goods, I got the ATM card. Talk to, who are you talking to? I'm talking to no one, all right? It's really difficult to, to walk because I didn't configure the keys right. Oh. What was that noise? Key, you don't seem scared, are you Are you nuts? And now you want to go check it out? Oh, okay. Let's take out of your room anyways, even if I ask you not to. At least change out of your jammies before you go. Aw, thanks, Mom. Thanks for caring about me. Thanks for caring about my style, I guess. Walking down the stairs. Walking through my house without my pizza. Beulah, how you doing? Oh, besides humans, dog also needs dog also dogs also sleep at night. Uh, uh. Woo! All right, uh, let's get out of this door. Oh, there's some police officers right here. On it, police are infamous for closing roads if something is going on. We are going for the world record. Well, keep on doing what you like. I'm not saying you shouldn't. I I should change these controls. I will be right back in a momento. Say nigga. Alright, I am back. The controls did not fix at all. Get the fuck out of my way. The controls did not fix at all, so we're just gonna play it like this. Oh, no problem there. A meteor has landed. The sharks are running wild in town. You kids are wandering around, and I'm hungry. I hate my job. Don't don't hate your job just because you're hungry, dude. All right, there's a present up there. It really is a Christmas. It really is a Christmas. Hey you! Don't you know what time it is? Somewhere around midnight. I should not be out this late. You're right. But there's a present over here, so you ain't gonna stop me. <coughs> there's a bread roll inside. I take it. Yay! Bread rolls. My favorite. I don't know. I've never had a bread roll in real life, so... I don't know. Who's this dude? Hey, Key. Hiya, buddy. The meteorite fell down and went boom. It was a real mess for a while. 
It was fine because I was always eating garlic. Eat garlic and work out and my body would... Ew, garlic. I don't like garlic. I'm actually allergic to it, so... I don't even like it. I remember this myself. That's my real stuff. Uh, my real job. Now, I'm a billboard guy. Ugh. Why did you check out my work? Alright, let's check out what you, what you said there. Who are you talking to? Oh, well, great. Treasure Hunter. This is Lear X Agarate's house. That's a weird name. The meteor looks different than usual. It's strange and marvelous as well as mysterious. Ooh. That's good to know. The key. Don't be a rubberneck. Don't be rubbernecking. I've never heard that. You're getting in the cops. Oops. I mean, officer's way. You can go home now. Tomorrow, I, Pokey, will tell you more about the strange meteorite. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers. No, I don't. I don't wanna... But I want to go in there. Clear out. Get out of my way. Clear out. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Clear out. Whoops. My mistake. I meant get out of my way. Oh, I didn't even read that. That was, that was nice. I've never read that. But yeah, the main reason why I wanted to play this game is because it kind of gave me a very Christmassy feel. I don't know. It's like... I, it might be nostalgic reasons, I don't know, but I've always wanted to play this game on the channel because... Well, this was my very first RPG and I enjoyed playing every second of it, except now because my fucking controller is just... My, my controller is not even... Well, you know, fuck it. This is, this is a little bit better, I guess. But yeah, the uh, I guess it's nostalgic reasons I wanted to play this game. It's a nostalgic reason it reminds me of uh, of Christmas a lot more. Welcome home, Key. It's not necessary to talk about it not tonight. It's late. Scoof off to bed. All right, I'll scoof off. I'll scoof off. Scoof. I've never heard that. Scoof. Huh. Later that night. Oh. 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 Someone in the front door. Someone's banging quite hard. Who the fuck are you? Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. You're not my mom. Who the fuck are you? I think that's maybe my sister. I'm not sure. My lad. Who could be who could be knocking at your door at a time of this? At uh, this time of night. Would you answer it? How about no, mom? How about you gave me money on my ATM card and then I'll answer it? Oh, oh, it's Pokey! Hey, listen to what I've got to say. When I took Picky to the land. Wow, your brother's name is Picky? Great. Oh, good evening, ma'am. You're looking lovely as usual, snicker. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, the police uh, that were guarding the meteor meteorite landing left suddenly to deal with the sharks. You know, the sharks. They're the local ruffians. And they're really going wild. Suddenly, I noticed that Piggy was gone. Then the cops. It certainly wasn't my fault at all. When my dad gets back, I know I'm going to get it. You're my bestest friend. Won't you help me find Piggy? If you refuse me, I'll say something that'll cut you like a knife. Wow! Okay! Verbal abuse in my house? How dare you, my good sir? Verbal abuse in my house, how dare you? Will you come with me? I guess I have no choice. Okay, buddy, let's blow this popsicle stand. Before we go, why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree, ma'am? How about you fucking stay out of my fucking grill, huh? How about you fucking stay out of my fucking grill, huh? I'll say goodbye to my mom whenever I feel like it. I know that the dog is unreliable, but you should take Beulah along. The crack bat in Tracy's room could help out at a time like this. No matter what anyone say, you're a courageous, strong boy. You're my very own natural born fighter. You'll go far. Remember to go for it. But I think it should be, uh, you should change out your jams before you leave. Aw, thanks, mom. I, that's actually really nice that the mom is uh, in this game is really nice. That's that's nice. All right, Trusty's room. There should be a crack the bed here. Oh, I should be checking it. 
The present. There's a cracked bat inside. He takes it. Oh, nice. I can equip the bat. Here we go. Yeah, we gotta crack the belt. We gotta crack the belt, everyone. You gotta crack the belt. Alright. Pokey. Get the fuck out of the way, Mom. Pokey, I'm ready. What the fuck are you doing lounging on my fucking couch? How dare you in my house? I fall at a safe distance. Let's get going. Gee, thanks, Pokey. You sure are a courageous man. Oh. Who's calling? Who the hell is calling at this hour? He answer the phone. Hello? It's your dad. Work to, exha uh, work to exhaustion when you're young. Have you heard, heard of saying weird saying like this? Just remember, I'm always behind you 100%. Don't be afraid. Dad, if you're always behind me, why aren't you here? <laughs> like, that's a little bit weird, don't you think? Dad isn't here. Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventures. I can make record of, pro I can make record of progress when you call me. Oh yeah, deposit 30 into your bank account. Do you have your ATM card? It's very weird that an 11 year old boy, I'm, 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 I'm assuming he's 11, has an ATM card. I got my ATM card when I was 16, but this, this is, this is weird. Oh, we got ourselves our first fight. Our very first fight against a runaway dog. I feel bad for bashing this dog in, but you know what? It doesn't matter. I just missed? What the hell? Alright, come on. Do it one more time. Rules of RPG. Usually it's three hits. Well, never mind. I was about to say, rules of a beginning RPG. It usually takes three hits to take down an enemy, but... Huh. Well, what do you know? Anyways, let's go and fight another runaway dog. And there we go. We attack the dog. We killed the dog. We are good. How do I heal up? I forgot. Oh, you just used an item. I forgot. Yes, I forgot. That's how you attack things. See, guys, usually it's three hits. In an RPG, at the beginning of an RPG, it's always three hits. Man, I hate, I hate the fact that... Ugh, my controller is not the best. Oh, there's another runaway dog. But yes, there we go. We attacked the dog. I don't know for how long I'm going to be recording this game. I'm not. It's not full let's play. I'm probably going to make it to the first boss. Hopefully I can make it to the first boss, uh, which should be the, at the meteorite. It should be around here somewhere. There's a fucking crow. I'm not going to fight that crow. I'm not going to fight that crow. Oh, Picky! There's Picky. He was literally right there, Pokey. Couldn't you have not? Could you have not just like literally walked around there instead of being such a big fucking puss? Like look, he's literally right here. What? Oh, you woke me up. Pokey, I've been looking all over you. You see, Pokey got scared and ran away. Well, I'm glad you're okay at least. Let's go home now. I bet mom and dad are worried sick about us. Jeez, sometimes I wonder which one of us is, is the real big brother. Well, Jesus. Picky joins you. Well, I guess there's nothing else to do. Key, do you hear that buzzing sound like a bee flying around? Uh, kinda, I really do. Yes, you can hear it. Oh. What the fuck is going on here? What the hell? A bee I am. Not. I'm from 10 years in the future. What the fuck? And in the future, all is devastation. Gygus, a universal cosmic destroyer. Sent all to horror, 
all to the horror of eternal darkness. However, you must listen. Where I am from, there is a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It is said when the, cho uh, when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time will shatter the nightmare's rock and will reveal the path of light. You see, it is my opinion that you are the boy king. This I believe. Gaga's monstrous plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to, to counter the evil intentions of Gygus. Three things that are of utmost importance, wisdom, courage, and friendship. The legends from uh, the ancient times tell of three boys and a girl who defeat Gygus. I will tell you more later. Go now, and do not be anxious about the future. You have much work to do, Key. Did you listen to what I told you? Yes. Thank you for listening to my long story. You are exceptional as I expected you to be. Alright, we got a B? I, I, I guess? Buzz Buzz now joins you. Key, it looks like you're really in a lot of trouble this time. Three boys, he said. Uh, I'm not one of those three, am I? Because I'm not into all this kind of thing at all. Jeez, my heart is almost pounding right on my chest. Well, I guess we have to go now. But, but what about this meteor, though? Caution, there's still lots of fire burning here and, and there. It's hot. All right, well, I guess. All right, we got a B. I guess I should end the episode when we get back home or when we finish one at, on a town, but I'm not sure. I, I, I don't remember when you fight the first boss. I, I do remember it's in a second town, which means this game is going to be long, but I'm not going to do a full let's play of it, just, just to be clear. Oh my god, what the fuck? It's been a long... It's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You've been successful at foiling Master Gygus's plans. But, Buzz Buzz, you must now so end. You're no longer a hero, but just a useless insect. I'll stop you hard. Oh my god, we're fighting the very first guy. Okay, okay, nobody panic. Um, I guess we should do auto fight. Okay, his body was protected by his psychic shield. All right. Oh my god, they did one damage. I missed. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, do I have anything? I don't. Okay, I'm just gonna bash this guy. This is gonna take a while. One HP and I'm missing. A hundred and nine! Who the fuck did that? Who the fuck? Who the hell did that? That was, that was, wow. Okay, I, 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 okay. Woo, I was taking a big chance there. He came from 10 years in the future to kill me, so we can't relax yet. From now on, you'll be fighting enemies sent in by Gygus, as well as humans who have evil thoughts. They'll definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent due to Gygus' influence over the evil in their mind. It is true. So listen, all right, well, I guess I should probably end the episode. I have no idea who did that. Wait a minute, who? Wait a minute, who the hell are we supposed to? Oh yeah, we're supposed to go to their house. Sorry, I'm a dummy. I'm a dummy, I don't know. I think their house is over here. 
Not sure. Oh. Problem. I wanna check the fucking... I wanna check the fucking thing. Well, I guess we just enter this house. I wanted to see if it was their house. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry that my kids have troubled you so much. Both of you are really getting it now. Oh, they're gonna get a beating, aren't they? I remember this. <laughs> yep, I remember that. By the way, I will be happy if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family never next door. We've loaned your father a lot of money. It may have been a hundred thousand dollars or more. Well, I guess I really could have been less. But because of the loan, my family and I now live in poverty. My husband is much too lenient with children. Oh well, nice guys finish last, that's the story of our lives. Well, great. Yeah, I think it's a dung beetle. I'll smash your guts out. Oh. 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 I guess I was much weaker than I thought. <coughs> <coughs> so you must now begin your adventure. See you. Oh, I just remembered. Listen to my final words. To defeat Gygus, your own powers must unite with the Earth. The Earth will then channel out your power and multiply it. There are eight points that you must visit. Make these places your own. <coughs> Each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is near on it. It's called Giant Step. Go there first. Do you understand? No, not really. I mean, I mean, to be quite honest, you were spewing up blood a little bit. I don't know. I'm just kidding. All right. You're a very intelligent young man. And... <coughs> oh, the pain. Everything is getting dark. The light. I see it. A gasp. Before I pass on, I want to give you something. It's the soundstone. You can record the melodies from the eight sanctuary locations into the stone. It's an awesome item. By the way, I'm almost gone. But did you want to hear the story one more time? Well, to be quite honest, I kind of want to waste your time and say no. All right. Good. It's already dawn outside, but it doesn't matter to me. I'm fading fast. Ugh. 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 He got stuck. <laughs> I just got the sandstone from this dying insect warrior that's from the future. Uh, that's fucking metal and cool. Oh, and there, there he goes. A much more dramatic death than Anakin in uh, Star Wars. Dramatic death. But yes, it is day. Oh my god. Oh yeah, the music. But yes, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do, please like, favorite, comment, and video. Especially if you're friends, don't forget to turn it on. I'll see you guys. I'm going to see you guys hopefully real soon. I, uh, this... We started the Christmas special off pretty well. I mean, oh, I ash accidentally pressed something and now a dude in a top hat is flying. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographer, a genius if I do say so myself. Where the fuck did you came from? You came from the sky. Okay, tell me more about your in instantaneous pictures, sky man. Look at the camera. Ready, say, fuzzy pickles. Aw, oh, look at that. 
Whoa, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the oddness of memories. Oh, and there he goes. He just, he just zips. All right, but hopefully you guys enjoy. We started off the Christmas special quite nice with a very nostalgic game. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next Christmas special episode. Until then, don't be a stranger. Bye!